Among all the video games I have ever played, this is the very first video game I remember playing. I believe I was 4 or 5 years old when I played Mario Kart 64 for the first time. There is a singular memory that I can recall playing this video game together with my older siblings and father. The memory is quite strong and holds a very special place in my heart. Mario Kart 64 is, without a doubt, a phenomenal video game. Video game consoles have come a long way since the early 1900s. However, that was only possible because of the Nintendo 64. One of the singular aspects of why Mario Kart 64 is fantastic is because of the Nintendo 64. Being able to play a video game at home with a color television, mind you, and with others simultaneously was a surreal experience. Mario Kart 64 is a racing video game developed by Nintendo and released on the Nintendo 64 in 1996. You play as either Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Wario, or Bowser. Each racer competes to become a Grand Prix winner over the course of four individual racing courses. Sorry, that's about all there is to this game. There is no plot, to be honest. That's really what it is. I have many memories playing Mario Kart 64 either by myself or with my family. The laughter, childlike banter, and playful excursions we would do still puts a smile on my face from time to time. For example, I remember several races that I did with my siblings where I would drive my cart in the opposite direction of how you're supposed to go in the racetrack. Zooming by my siblings and the other cart drivers in the opposite direction made us all laugh. Sometimes I even helped them win race courses with the power-up items I required for being in last place. Another memory I have is having fun being squished by the rocks on Coco Mountain's racetrack. My brother and I would just laugh about who would get hit by a boulder first. On the Calamari Desert racetrack, the three of us would slam ourselves into the train just to hear our racer characters yelp in agony. <laughs> One final memory I could share is how the three of us would find the highest peak on Rainbow Road and jump as high as we could and fall off the map purposefully. <laughs> of course, not all memories I have of this game are good ones. Being a child comes with high emotional breakdowns at times. All three of us, my older sister, brother, and I, had these moments. When the results screens came around and started playing the music themes, that was when the tears and crying started. As one of us stormed out completely in a temper tantrum, the results screen song would constantly play on loop with no one even talking or moving. The silence was unsettling with the results screen theme on loop. Even though these are not so great memories, they unequivocally matter in my life as they helped build the strong relationship that I now have with my older siblings. In retrospect, Mario Kart 64 forged my strong relationship with my entire family, brought me into video gaming, and sort of built who I am today. This was the video game that started everything I love about video games and my journey in life. Well, <laughs> maybe that is a bit overzealous, but the fact remains that this video game definitely had some inconsequential influence. The Nintendo 64 was one of the biggest video game consoles during the 1990s that brought home entertainment across the globe. The sheer power of the console was miraculous. Video games like The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, and Star Fox 64 
were all instant hits and classics. Mario Kart 64 is a classic as well. However, there is a reason why this video game did not make my list of top video games of all time. When you look at something like Super Mario 64, you marvel at the quality of 3D visual aspects. Then you boot up Mario Kart 64 and realize that there is something wrong. All the characters and items are pixelated. The 3D quality was removed slightly for Mario Kart 64. The big reason why Mario Kart 64 did not make my list of top video games is because of the art and design. The characters and items did not get a 3D upgrade like Link or Fox McCloud did. Even F-Zero X had 3D model cars, and that game had 30 racers. I do not know the details behind the reason of the characters and items being pictures, but the same lack of quality can be seen in the racetracks. Most of the racetracks are barren and open, with nothing in them to look at as you drive. For example, the Wario Stadium racetrack is mostly dirt and guardrails, with a repeating picture of Wario of himself on the outside wall. Coco Mountain is just brown platforms, same with Sherbet Land being just white surfaces. What I am ultimately getting at here is that the pizzazz from the other comparative Nintendo 64 titles is missing within Mario Kart 64. Mario Kart 64 may not have had the ultimate upgrade treatment that the other Nintendo 64 titles showcased. However, the video game was much more than just visuals. I cannot express how much fun this video game was outside the fact of the Racing Center focus. That is the true beauty within this video game. I had more fun getting hit by the rocks thrown at you in DK's Jungle Parkway getting T-boned by penguins in Sherbetland, and causing head-on collisions in Toad's Turnpike than the races themselves. Because within those moments of childish laughter, I could have fun with the video game the way I wanted. When you think about the times you spend playing video games, you need to find the fun inside them. Especially when you have others playing with you. I learned that the hard way of being the heart of the party after all the things I did that upset my older siblings. Mario Kart 64 may not have made my top video games of all time, but certainly is deemed as a runner-up placement. Without this video game, video games would not be the same in my memory. I love video games for the unexpected nonces of fun that they can house in them, as well as the ability to play with others simultaneously. From childhood to adulthood, Mario Kart 64 is now a time capsule memory locked deeply inside my heart. I will forever cherish both the good and bad memories that Mario Kart 64 gave me for the rest of my life. Here we go! Boom! Oh, oh god. Um... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh my... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! 
I just got so screwed. Oh. Oh no, what is this? Oh god! Oh! No! No! Oh! Yeah, get out of the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Why did I do that? Whoa, wait, what? Whoa. Who was that? Where did that come from? Oh god! <laughs> okay. Alright. I came in second. I came in second. What does that mean? I mean, does that mean all of us have the same points? Oh my gosh. Yes, it does. Then who won? Who won this race? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I won? Dude, if I was Donkey Kong or Toad, I'd be pissed! Congratulations! <laughs> I'm a I'm a gonna win! <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video and episode, please feel free to check out the Pondister channel for more episodes. For those who are wondering, I do in fact make all the videos and effects myself. I have been learning how to build and create everything from scratch for each episode. Being able to apply and showcase these features is a wonderful experience. Thank you to all who have supported this community, and feel free to check out our Etsy store provided with the link in the description below. I'm your host, Richard Dahm, and this is Pondersore, Words with a Roar.